Three, two, one, go. What's up, guys? So I'm going to show you how to make a backdrop. So I'm going to get rid of this box. I don't need it. So this is going to be sort of a cheap way to do it, quick way to do it. So first, let's just add a plane because we need to get like a, a back and a floor. And we're actually not going to use I don't know why they're so small. So we have our regular plane here. This is the front of it. And that's fine. So now we're going to take, and I'm in orthographic, by the way. So now we're going to take this plane and clone it. And then we'll move it up like this. And then go here and hit snap 90 degrees. And then use the red ring so you can just have like a floor, you know, like a floor and a, and a back uh, wall. This doesn't have to be perfect. This is just like a, templ a template. So now we have something like this. Uh, it doesn't really matter which which way it is so just make something like this even if you use two boxes it doesn't really matter so now uh, let's add a box so we add a box i'm going to make it pretty small and then i'm going to stretch it out like this i'll move it up okay so now we have our uh our box it's all stretched out i'm gonna hit left so now all we can really see is the box but that's okay let's validate it uh let's use move and turn on symmetry i'm gonna turn i'm gonna uh, make the move tool quite big maybe around 500 and we can't really see that which is kind of annoying so i'll just put it a little bit off center so we can see it so now we're just going to take this and we're going to move it pretty much like Something like this. So now just take your gizmo and let's get it off snap. And now let's just move it so it sort of lines up with our, um, you know, our little piece there. So I'm going to take move and make it smaller and I'm just going to kind of stretch it so that it lines up. Oh. And of course it's kind of hard to see. Actually, it would have been better if I did two boxes, because then you'd be able to see, but you get the idea. So basically, that would be the back wall. This would be the floor. So now we have something like this. Go ahead and take the two planes and just delete them. You don't need them anymore. So now this is what we're left with. So you can just take, uh, you can take select mask and you can, you can, <clears throat> excuse me you can mask and then you can pull if the pivot is like this it's okay just hit pivot reset pivot or just hit align yeah align is the that's the magic that's the key so you can stretch this out and then you can take it off of the mask let's go to clear and you should be pretty good you should be able to actually stretch it up and this way so it doesn't really matter and now just stretch it out. And now you have your backdrop, your beautiful backdrop. Now it's very big, so you can either smooth out the edges if you want or use the round edge and you can just smooth it out or just use smooth and round out the edges and then go here decimate and then you can just decimate it down until it's small uh oh well i'm not going past 644 so i'll leave it here you can probably get it down less than that but if you just want something quick um, then this is pretty good and now you have a backdrop so you can see if we add a sphere here and the reason, the, the great reason to add a backdrop is because when you have it, then you have shadows. You can make really nice shadows for whatever it is you're doing. Let me put it on perspective. So you can have really nice shadows and it really, it really makes a difference when you have your, where's the lights? Where's the lights? I'll take it off soft because it's a little, put it on this. So yeah, everything looks better when you have a nice, uh, a nice backdrop that you can see the shadows on. So that's just a quick and dirty. I'm sure there's easier ways to do it, and I'm sure you can probably get it lower than.
the number that it was, 1287, but that's it's not too bad. So, all right, keep drawing, keep sculpting. I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching the video. Be sure to like and subscribe. It really helps me out, really helps my channel out. Definitely check out my Skillshare classes. I have 2D classes in Procreate and 3D classes in Nomad Sculpt. Keep drawing, keep sculpting, and I'll see you all in the next video.